Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com, RockAuto.com, and State Farm. TPMS, or Tire Pressure Monitoring Systems, have been around for a number of years now. They're mandatory on all passenger cars and light trucks. So you would think that a lot of people would understand them, but apparently a lot of people don't. Number one is that a lot of people think if the light is not on, that means that the tire pressure is perfect. That is not correct. All it means is, is that the tire pressure is not dangerously low. You may have to add air periodically. You should be checking your tire pressure at least once a month to make sure that you keep it at the proper setting for best tire wear and fuel economy. Now, there are different types of tire pressure monitoring systems. Most of them use sensors that are in the wheel. The type with the valve stem like this are the most common, but there's also one that is in down in the drop center of the wheel that's held in place by a big clamp that goes all the way around the wheel. But the thing here is that all of these, well, they are now so common that you can go to the local parts store and buy replacements or buy repair kits such as we have here. We have all the different parts to repair the different types of sensors. Now, that said, these all work with batteries and batteries wear out. And when they do, on comes the check engine light. In many cases, always on is the TPMS light, the low tire pressure light. Now, where you make a mistake, you buy one of these sensors, you take the car in, you get the sensor installed, and a week or two later, another one, because all of the batteries have the same amount of wear on them. So what you do, if you have one of the sensors that has failed due to a bad battery, replace all four of them at once, you'll probably get a better deal from the repair shop and you'll save a lot of back and forth. But the big thing to remember, check tire pressure manually once a month, rely on the TPMS as an emergency backup. And if you have a question or comment, drop me a line right here at Motor Week.